Um, the next question is actually specifically for um, Dr. Ingrid. Um, I've heard a lot about the rights that Islam gives to Muslim women. However, um, I'd like you to elaborate on the position um, the, the position Islam has on taking leading positions. Uh, do you have a position on this? And what situations does it apply to? National level, state level, town level, uh, at an organizational level, uh, especially since you're the president of ISNA. Um, if you if you look at the Quran and the Sunnah, there are some only some very general guidelines about um, governance, about how to conduct how the Muslims should conduct their affairs. One we know shura, consultation. Muslims should conduct their affairs um, by consultation. We know that um, uh, striving for justice, fairness, these are all principles in Islam. Um, we see certainly that, that in, you know, every society has a different social, political, economic structure. During the time of the Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, people did not individually represent themselves um, in, in every occasion. They, they were primarily organized according to tribes, and they signed contracts and treaties as tribal members. Their leaders represented them, and in a way that was very informal very informal because they were close to each other. They had this sense of kinship. And so there was, um, you know, it wasn't necessary for the, the head to go and, you know, find out everyone's opinion. That would not be acceptable in, uh, a, a, you know, a modern society where people are, are well educated, where they're not organized according to tribe. Where is our tribal structure? We don't have it. So we come up with a different way of representation. So my point here is that the involvement of all of us, men and women, um, in the governance of our organization needs to comply with certain general principles. And then really it's up to us to conduct our affairs according to our best ijtihad, our best understanding of those principles um, that the sources of Quran and Sunnah give us. So clearly for uh, the Islamic Society of North America, there was no, there's no barrier to, uh, to a woman who's considered to be uh, by the membership, whether they're you know, correct in that or not, competent for a position to, you know, to obtain that position. And that's based on uh, the understanding of, um, uh, of Quran, Sunnah, and the example of, um, of uh, our great scholars and uh, Muslims throughout time.